Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Yes or no? God, see, this is the problem. I can't do Zoom out here where I want to be. Hi, it's Mark with At My Home. And as you can see, my friend Steve has a problem. He's trying to do Zoom in his backyard, but his Wi-Fi connection is really slow. And so he called me up and said, hey, is there something I can do to make this faster in my backyard so I can do the Zoom calls in the backyard? And I said, well, sure, we can get a mesh router for your house. And he goes, okay, let's go do it. And then I said, well, but what do you have in your house? And it turns out he has what's called a combo cable modem and router that's supplied by the cable company. It's one box. And so in order for us to do this, we needed to be able to replace that box. And so today we're going to show you, or actually Steve is going to show you what it took to go off and make that replacement so that he could have Zoom in his backyard. Why are you switching out your, your cable modem? Because it is slow and lame and I keep getting complaints from people, mostly myself, of I can't do the zoom out there, I can't do the zoom out there, and why does it keep, uh, you know, getting the circle of death when I'm watching TV? And besides, it's all in one, which belongs to Xfinity and not me. So they can have it back and this way I can upgrade my technology anytime I want. And plus, I rent this thing and I don't like to rent stuff and in a year or two I'll have it all paid off with the stuff that I bought and I am gonna be 61 years old in a couple of weeks I have never plugged in a modem or a stinkle flink or whatever else you call it my sons have done it I have kids in their 20s when I need help with these kinds of things I call them up and plug it in. so that wasn't hard right it's just like plugging your TV in right just like plugging in my TV. Okay, so now what's going to happen if you look at the top, like over here, you're going to have some lights, right? So these lights will light up when the cable company, in this case Xfinity, authorizes this cable modem. Those lights will start blinking differently, and we'll see that after you've called them. Is right this now, telling me the power's on, or do I need to... That says the power's on, that's right. it. I'll but you it. have no other lights blinking, which means the cable company doesn't know this exists. Okay. So now you have to call them and say, please make it so it works. Just a moment. Okay. This is some of the worst jazz music I've ever heard. I had to call in because I'm getting rid of their modem and I'm using my own modem. Calling Comcast. Currently, all of our customer service representatives are assisting other customers. Please hold. Well, after 38 minutes of being on hold, we decided to just keep working on some other stuff. We talked with Frank for a little while who told us what we're trying to do is not possible. So we're waiting for a manager, and in the meantime, I'm going to cut open this other box. Won't that be fun? This is the router. Oh. It's a box within a box. That is fantastic. It's an Orbi. That's weird. Maybe I did it backwards. It's got a big unveiling. Ta-da! Because that wasn't enough boxes. Let's get started. And it's got three little alien eggs. And it's got to have some more stuff. Thank you for continuing to hold. Your call is important to us. Please remain on the line. Your call will be answered by the next available customer account executive. Three power plugs and a cable. This one says satellite. This one says router on it, so it's got to be different. It also says LDPE, which stands for some stuff I'm sure I don't know. So this must be the main box and then the satellites and the satellites. So this is the one I'm going to put over by my modem. These will go in different places in my house. So we'll have Wi-Fi like a mofo. And I'm going to leave that one on there that says router. This needs to get plugged in here. That's the genius work my sons have been doing for years. Okay, so I'm ready to put my satellites in place. This is our master bedroom. 
there is uh, our backyard and I'm gonna plug it in right over here near the back wall so it'll cover the backyard. And it's blinking lights, I think it works. The most important thing to me probably right now is to tell my wife what that is so she doesn't unplug it, get rid of it, or wonder what, have I gone completely crazy. <laughs> um, and then we're gonna put another one in another room. There Thank it is, you Orby. For continuing to hold. Your call is important to us. Please remain on the line and your call will be answered by the next available customer account executive. Our call is important to them. It's now at minute 59, but still important. So there's Orby. I'm gonna open it up. Connect using location services. Uh, I think they're gonna have to know my place. Allow Orby to access this device all the time. And ready to get started. And I have to create an account, I believe. Log in. Okay. Do you want to install a new Netgear product? I think so, right? Yes. Sure. Scan QR code. And what happened? Thank you for oh. continuing to hold. Wait while your Orbi satellite fully powers on. Look there, it's telling me I'm almost there. Thank you for continuing to hold. After one hour, 48 minutes, and 40 seconds, Brenda from Xfinity finally took care of us. We got it all hooked up. We got it all ready to go. I have even connected my Orbi, and it's still working on the satellites, but it's all plugged in. The cables are connected. I've got Wi-Fi. I've got cables galore. I have to plug in some other stuff because I had to unplug it to make room for this. But um, we should be all good to go. I think now we're gonna check the satellites, make sure they're satelliting, and then we will have some wine. Okay. All right, so it's all done, it's all running. I'm excited about a few things. Number one, I'm never having to call Xfinity again. That's not true, but I'm excited about that. Um, I got my router, I got my cable modem, they're all hooked up. It took a while to kind of mesh everything. Um, I was glad Mark was here to kind of help with that. I now know why my sons hate me when I ask them to do this kind of stuff. But it wasn't super hard, it just takes a little time. So if you're trying to get this done in an hour, forget about it. Um, I was on the phone for an hour, 48 minutes and 40 seconds with Xfinity. But it seems like anybody can do it. All the instructions were pretty clear and get in there and mess around, do it, and it will be awesome. Um, so did I solve the problem outside, out in the back? Yes. Uh, it was at right around six. And now with the Xfinity router, because it's as far away from it as it could possibly be, but now that I have the Orbi meshed all together, it was at 210. So that's pretty good. I'm not strong in math, but that's pretty good. So um, that's not that's not upgrading my bill from Xfinity at all. That's just from the hardware. Yes, that's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Good one. Man, this is awesome. So good to see you guys. This is awesome. This is the way Zoom should be done. Woohoo! Well, it's great to see that Steve's happy with his new Wi-Fi in his home. But, you know, one thing I want to bring up is that what happened is I gave him our old uh, cable modem. And when he went to install it, it turned out it was still tied to our account. And so he had to go to second level support to get the help he needed to swap out the box. So just make sure when you do this that you have budget enough time to deal with your internet provider so that you can make the swap. If you're going to replace your equipment, just keep in mind that you want to match the equipment you buy to the speed of your internet service. So for example, in the chart we're showing you here, if you have 200 megabits per second service, there's one set of equipment you want to buy. If you get one gigabit service, there's a different set of equipment you buy. Just make sure that they match the speed of the service that you plan to use. Thanks again for watching our video today. And please don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. And for more smart home stories, visit app myhome.com. Thank you.